I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some very important concepts about vertical and horizontal lines. We will consider characteristics of horizontal lines, characteristics of vertical lines, x and y intercepts and parallel and perpendicular lines with the help of few examples. Even after grade 9, I find students not really understanding vertical and horizontal lines thoroughly. And I hope this video will help them understand all these concepts. Let me give you some example before we get into details of vertical and horizontal lines. When I say vertical lines, it really means a line which is parallel to y-axis, lines like this, right? So these are vertical lines. So vertical, vertical lines are parallel to y-axis. So this is y-axis, horizontal x-axis. So these are vertical lines. When we say horizontal lines, we mean the lines which are parallel to the x-axis. Kind of like this. Right. Now, when we consider parallel and perpendicular lines, we'll actually concentrate more on vertical and horizontal lines. Then you can see that a vertical line is always perpendicular to a horizontal line, right? So these are always perpendicular. So we'll consider these lines now. So that is horizontal line. Now these are perpendicular lines. So let's consider horizontal lines first. What are horizontal lines? Well, horizontal lines are parallel to x-axis. So we can write down here, horizontal lines are parallel to x-axis. Now, how can you write equation of a horizontal line? Well, we know since they are horizontal, the slope is equal to zero. So if you consider the equation y equals to mx plus b, where m equals to zero, we could write this as y equals to b, right? So, so that becomes the equation of horizontal line. So if this y-intercept is, let us say, 4, in that case, equation of this line will be y equals to 4, correct? If I have another horizontal line, let's say right there, with y-intercept of, let's say, minus 4, in that case, the equation will be y equals to minus 4. Is that correct? Now, as you can see here, from the diagram, you can write down x and y intercepts for a horizontal line. So it has only one y intercept. Right? That is as for all lines, correct? Every line has only one y-intercept. However, it has no x-intercept. So generally, when we talk about horizontal lines, we are saying they do not have x-intercept, right? They will be parallel to x-axis since we are saying that they are parallel to x-axis. That is why we say they have no x-intercept. Now, important thing here to consider is an exception. So let me write down the exception here. Exception to this rule is x-axis itself. 
is also a horizontal line correct and if we consider x axis as our horizontal line how many x intercepts does it have that is an exception right so we see that it has infinite x intercepts is that clear right so that is extremely important to understand most of the time we overlook that the x axis itself is a is a horizontal line right and therefore if x axis is a horizontal line every point is an x intercept right now let's look into the vertical lines now based on the characteristics of horizontal lines you can actually pause the video and write down the characteristics for vertical lines so let me sketch some vertical lines here let's say this is one vertical line and that is the other vertical line so we're talking about vertical lines now as you can see vertical lines are parallel to y-axis correct so we can write vertical lines are parallel to y-axis now so how many y-intercepts so that means no y-intercept one x-intercept now for a vertical line what is the slope slope is undefined for vertical line why see if you see rise over run we know slope is rise over run run equals to zero right so you cannot divide by zero that is why it is undefined and therefore the equation y equals to mx plus b is not valid for vertical lines so if that is not valid what could be the equation for a vertical line that's a big question right so we look into the x intercept let's say a is the x intercept then x equals to a is equation of vertical line where a is the x intercept you get an idea right so if the x intercept is let's say minus 3 then the equation of this line will be x equals to minus 3 it means every point on the line will have x value of minus 3 you get an idea right so that is how we should understand vertical lines. Now, exception here is what? Exception here is y-axis. Now, in y-axis, how many y-intercepts do we have? Infinite. Do you get my idea, right? So, so we do not have any y-intercepts as such exception is y-axis has infinite y-intercepts well that is an exception right so that is how we should be understanding the vertical lines is that clear now based on this knowledge let's have a few multiple choice questions for you i would like you to copy these questions answer them one by one so here are first two questions for you. Slope of the line y equals to 10 is what? And question number two is, slope of the line x equals to minus 10 is what? So that should be easy for you. I'd like you to answer and then look into my suggestions. y equals to 10 will be a horizontal line, right? This is y equals to 10. 
and x equals to minus 10 will be a vertical line this point being minus 10 now I think you can answer very easily slope of a horizontal line is 0 which is y equals to 10 and slope of a vertical line is undefined is that clear look at it very carefully right this is a common mistake which I have seen so many times now let's take up question number 3 and 4 equation of line through 4 5 and parallel to y equals to 3 is what so y equals to 3 is a horizontal line and if I'm drawing a line parallel means it has to be a horizontal line through the point 4 5 right so so the y value is 5 let's say this is the other line whose value is uh, 4 5 is one of the points on the line so the equation should be the y value same everywhere which is 5 so a is the right answer does it make sense to you so now I like you to do the second question on your own and then check with my solution this time we are looking for a perpendicular to x-axis so this is your x-axis and that is perpendicular right perpendicular to x-axis and this time if it is going through the point 4 5 then what is the equation we have to look into the x value right so the x-intercept is 4 so x equals to 4 is the right answer does it make sense to you so that is how you could easily answer these questions let's take up another set of two questions equation of x-axis is what extremely important question what is the equation for x-axis and what is the equation of y-axis so when I say x-axis it means this right what is the equation of this and when I say y-axis, that means vertical line. What is the equation of this? Well, on x-axis, y-value is 0, right? So A is the right answer. And for y-axis, the x-value is 0. All points x is 0. So that is the answer. So I hope that is absolutely clear, right? Last two questions from this series are, how many x-intercepts will y-axis have? So let's sketch one. The x-intercepts which this y-axis will have is just one, right? So the answer is B. The last question here is, how many x-intercepts will x-axis have? Well, x-intercepts is all the set of points which the graph coincides with x-axis which is infinite right all these points so option d is the right option so i hope with this you have clear understanding of vertical and horizontal lines you also understand parallel perpendicular lines x intercepts and y intercepts feel free to write your comments and share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best